beginners are looking for is how to pass data, the values of variables, from one view controller to another. I spent countless hours looking at tutorials and reading programming books, and it took me ages to get an intuitive idea of how to do it. If you want to pop up a table and have the user select a row, that's okay, that works fine, but how do you make your original view controller know what row is selected? Or maybe you want to pop up a screen for the user to put in his name, or you cut to a page where the user selects easy, medium, or hard. And when the pop-up vanishes, how does the original view controller know what the user entered? There's two ways of doing it that I discovered anyhow. One was by using delegates, and the other by using singletons. A singleton is a file that you add to the program that contains the values of global variables, and you set it up so that all of you controllers can see it. So that's one way. You use a delegate if you want one view controller. Actually, it doesn't have to be a view controller. It could just be any object. But in this case, to use one view controller to execute a procedure, a method, on behalf of another view controller. Instead of having a view controller dismissing itself, for example, it could delegate the task to a different view controller. But it can pass data in the process. So I'll show you how the delegate method works, because it's quite simple. Now, this is the first time that I have ever recorded my screen or made a YouTube video, so sorry if I'm not very smooth at doing this. We'll start a new Xcode project. Take a single view application. I'll call this delegate practice because I certainly need to practice. Now, I've all, already called some of the delegate practice before, so that's that, what that little warning is. And here's delegate practice. I got my view controller H, my view controller M. I'm going to make the screen a little bigger here for you. While I'm here, we'll take a We've got a new file. This is for our second view controller. Oh, second view controller. Make sure it says subclass UI view controller down there. Mine already does because I just use it to do the first view controller. All right, so now I have the files for the second view controller added. Um, move the files down there. Not that that matters. I will go to the storyboard and uh, back up a bit. There's the first view controller. Add the second one in here. We go up here to the inspector and tell it that the second view controller is actually called second view controller have to do that. If you don't do that, then it doesn't link these files over here called the second view controller to the actual one, okay? The actual view controller. Right, now I've got to zoom back in to put some objects on it. Buttons. I'll put a button over here. This is go button. And I'll put a button on this one. That'll be return button. Now I want to show you passing data, so we've got to collect some data. So we'll use a text field here. And we use a text field over here. And when the go button is pressed, you want to sig over to here. So we click we clicked here. I'm holding the control key down with my finger. And drag over here. So I want a modal sig. It could take a popover. But uh, if you're doing this for iPhone, then you don't have that on your list. So that's why I took modal at the moment. So there's the SIG, and you have to identify the SIG, and we'll call it to do. That's You identify it because you could have more than one SIG. You could have one from here going to a different view controller. You're going to go all sorts of different places, so you identify them in this list up here. Okay. Now we do s the uh, programming, and there's not much to do. Really, there's not much. 
and the view controller H. Now here's what I'm going to do. Uh, to save you looking at, at me typing, what I did is I I put it already into uh, Word, so I'll just, it's off screen here, I'll just cut and paste. So I'll put that in here, and then I'll tell you what it was after. You could, if you're typing along with me, you could pause here and type it in. Okay, so here's what we got. We want the first controller to know what the second controller, that it exists. So there it is imported, okay? We want the first controller to know that it is the delegate for the second view controller because what the sec what the f the first view controller is going to execute a, a method that we would have put on the second view controller but we're going to put it on the first. You'll see here. But this what this says make sure you add this because it won't work if you don't add this on your interface line. It's got to say we're the second view controller's delegate. Okay? There's the text field I put on. I put a button on, you might recall. We could have IB Outlet UI button, but it turns out that you don't have to name a button. It's being used, but you don't have to name it. Okay. And here's the property for the username text field because I'm going to stick the value in there that we learned from the second view controller. Don't worry about the error at the moment. That's just because the delegate hasn't been declared in the second view controller yet. All right. Now the M file, pardon me while I get it next door here, all the way down to view did load. All right, I'm muttering to myself, sorry. Let's make sure I paste it the right spot. Here's where it's going in. There we go. So if you've typed that in, Let's see what happens. We want our view controller.m file to know that the second view controller exists, so there it is in the import statement. Uh, we want to synthesize the username text field. Remember, we declared a property for it in the dot h. All we add here are two subroutines. There's a third one that I'll, we'll come, we'll, we'll use in a minute. Here I I just betrayed my knowledge, eh? calling those subroutines. So these are methods to use the appropriate terminology in Objective-C. Okay, the first one's prepare for SIEG. That means we're setting up the SIEG to the next um, view controller. If the SIEG identifier is equal to, 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 to 2, that's the one we define, then here's what we want to do. We want to make the second view controller the destination. That's what this says, okay? And view controller here is actually second view controller. See, second view controller is called view controller. That was a little confusing to me. I could have called it second view controller, and then this would have said second. But anyhow, view controller, our temporary name for a second view controller. View controller's delegate equals self, and self is this view controller, right? Self is the program we're in right now. Okay. Now we go, oh, uh, yes, let's continue, sorry. This done routine down here, this is the delegate routine. We could have had done, normally I would have had done in the second view controller, but I'm going to put done in the first view controller. So we're delegating the first view controller as the owner of the done method. So in the done method, we're going to dismiss the view controller, which was the second, will be second view controller. And here's a little message saying, we're back in first controller, uh, carrying the variable name, just to prove it. And we'll put the variable name into username text field. So you'll see it on the screen. Okay. Now, second view controller. Here's its H file. Uh, going next door here to my Word file to pick up what we need here, and again, there isn't very much. On it. Sorry for the delay. It's being put in right here. There we go. Now, oh, this is the key. And this was the cause of the error message back there, and I'm still showing the error because I haven't cleaned it. Uh, there's a protocol needed. It's the delegate protocol. 
And what this protocol says is second view controller delegate is an object. Now the object could be a, a view controller. It doesn't matter what the object is. And the, the delegate method is this one, oh, sorry, is this method called done. The key is, look, done has got a string called some text, which is going to be passed back. So this is the this is the magic, right? This is the pat this is the variable that's going to be passed back to the done routine. Okay, two outlets here that were named. We had some text or the the text field I'm calling it some text and the UI button I'm calling it return button. And one other thing you need is that you need to declare the delegate as an object here. Okay? So property for the object. This object here is the second view controller delegate. Okay. And uh, declaring the the text field is some text and uh, we need an action when we press the return button. Okay. Ready? We'll go to the M file. And again, pick it up here next door. I'm going to go, let's say, from the implementation on down, which is hardly anything. Here we go. Sorry, I'm linked to myself. The implementation on down. There we go. Synthesize the two things that had the properties. One thing to look at, delegate is actually the name of an object, right? We're synthesizing that object. And we're making that equal to underscore delegate, which is the name, the variable name we will use to refer to delegate. Uh, this could have been equals ABC, any variable name you want. It's a little controversial I've been reading, uh, but there are lots of uh, Xcode programmers or Objective-C programmers that want to see the underscore and call the variable the same name as the object. And you put an underscore there to distinguish. There are some people that say you shouldn't do that. Anyhow, it works, so I put it in. Return button pressed is simple. This is the key. Look, this is simple. It says the delegate for us, we're in second view controller, so that means second view controller is delegate, right? You go to the done routine. We got, if you didn't have this delegate in here, it would look for the done routine below in the list. But because the delegate's here, it looks for the done routine, the done method, in whatever the delegate for second view controller was, and the delegate for second view controller was first view controller. Okay, so that's the coding. If I clean, I think that that um, error should disappear. Right. Okay. Now we just have to link up the stuff on the storyboards. So that's very quick. You could drag things across to the storyboard, but I found that the the fastest way, which doesn't involve mean moving the mouse very far, is to just drag right here. I'm holding the control key down, go down to the button, call it return button, start up here again, go down to the text field, call it some text, start at the button, go up to the view controller, and that's return button pressed. Right. And this one the view controller, down to the text field, call it username text field. That's all I have to worry about. Well, this should work. <laughs> I hope so. Here we go. We're running it. I'll move this into place so you can see it. There's the simulator. Go. Now I'm onto the second one. Return back to the first one. All right, now, the moment of truth. Go. Type something, return, and there it is. Look at that. See? And my NS log down here says we're back in first controller in method done with name equal ROM. Okay, so we passed it. Okay. Well, that's all we've accomplished um, this for you. Um, that's all you can do in the, if you're doing this for your iPhone. For iPad, you could do one other trick. 
I'll show you quickly if there's time. We take this seed and get rid of it and then put a new one in. Gotta open this a little bit. Well, put a new one in, control, drag over to here, and pick pop over, because iPhone doesn't have pop over. Select this, I have to define it again, that was to two. All right, and now we'll run this again. And now that's a popover. If the go button had been on the left, it would have been, the popover would have been this way, would have been on the right side of the field. And I type something here, the return button would normally take us back, but I have to do one link. Normally I can get back by touching outside. See, you touch outside and it comes back. All right. If you want to use a return button to get back, you do something that's that's really simple. Um, I need I need a little more room here, just a sec, to see it all. All right, you take the return button, hold the control key down, drop over to here, and pick unwind from second view controller. Do you remember that one? Let's go back. I told you I'd tell you about this later. This is the one that you don't need in the iPhone and we didn't need up to now. But this says unwind from second view controller. And that's what it'll go when you press the return button. So back over, try this one more time, go. Type something, return, and now we're back, and there's the stuff I typed. So there you are, ladies and gentlemen. That's going from one view controller to the other view controller, gathering some information and coming back. And we've done it for iPad in a modal method or in a popover method. I hope that was of use to you. Good day.